This started, um, it started in 2012, winter of 2012. It wasn't meant to start in the winter in Boston, but it did because it was delayed. But I mean, I've been a barista for years. I'd worked in Australia um, and I came to Boston to go to Berkeley College of Music. And then I finished my degrees, sort of got back into coffee. I competed in the, like, the regionals of the United States Barista Championships in, in New York and then saw this really amazing mobile food scene in Boston. There's not many trucks out today, but it's got a really, it was, at the time it was a really like, burgeoning mobile food scene. And I was like, well, what about mobile sort of coffee of some sort, especially espresso? And then I sort of just kept researching and getting, and I eventually found this trike. I imported it from Work Cycles in Holland and then sort of built it out. Yeah, just kept designing it and kept designing it. And it's been really great, fun experience. What's, what's the customer yeah, that's like? new. Last yeah. time um, you're sort of looking at it. It's sort of everybody. It's like business people, people that work down here. There's a lot of startups around here. Um, Can I just see the signature? Yeah, just sort of a variety of people. And today's the farmer's market. So while well, very similar, a little different. You're right at, you're sort of right downtown, right outside the main train terminal, South Station. So this is the busiest, this has the busiest uh, foot traffic in New England, actually. Yeah, the South Station. <laughs> the good thing about being uh, downtown outside as well is that people want to stand and be outside. You know, it's really nice. It's beautiful in the summer here. Everything is, has, is, is very good and very purposefully made. I mean, I focus a lot on espresso and that's what I really love, but the cold brew is excellent. Um, and all the drinks are great. Yeah, everything is, is, is a specialty. You know, I try to make everything as equally as good as the other thing. Like if you drink cappuccino, this would be a very good version of that and vice versa. But I change coffees uh, every day. Same roaster though, I work with one roaster very, very closely with Grace Note and then I, but I rotate through. I have a shop opening, the flagship shop is, I'm part, I'm the half 50-50 owner with them. I'm still keeping this, but it definitely led to a shop opening around the corner. Did you say you're yes. That's so exciting. It's got to be so good. I haven't. I guess I haven't seen you. I I've been yapping on about it for I, months. I haven't seen you all winter. I, really? Yeah. I, 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 that guy. I, guess, um, I guess my last question would be like, yeah. would you sum up the Boston coffee scene? Emerging, getting getting better and better with some. Yeah, it's it's definitely the city. The city is like, in general, the city is actually just, not emerging, but just getting better with sensory, like, you know, just food in general, things you put in your mouth. You know what I mean? Because even like the restaurants in the last two years, a lot more restaurants, a lot more coffee shops, like George Howell's got two places open in downtown. Ogawa just opened. I have one over here and this. Um, just, it's, it's a interesting scene with the seaport, all that development. There's like more opportunities for shops. I've been offered like a shop space down there and in Chestnut Hill. So I think just more is m happening. It'd be interesting. Thank you so much, man. Oh, it's my pleasure.